I want to make a statement about prop firms because there's a lot of things happening recently and it seems like every day another prop firm is closing and people are getting scammed left, right and center. And I get asked this quite a lot if I'm about to open a prop firm, if I was about to open a prop firm because I made some statements in the past that I want to open or that I was actually about to open a prop firm. And I would like to tell you the story in this first time, actually, that I tell this story in English language. I had actually I was asked this question in a German podcast the other day and I answered him just very transparently. I told him the story about how I was, I would say, scammed by a prop firm because I was about to open a prop firm and I was very close, not me, but my company, Online Trading Campus, to open my campus fund, a prop firm, basically a Forex prop firm. And the process basically, and I want to tell you now the story, the process started after my first FTMO success, when I got my first few payouts and then I was approached by a potential business partner and he told me or he actually well yeah he told me to hey why don't you open a prop firm and the idea by itself was very interesting and then i basically well i didn't know back then i didn't know a lot about prop firms i didn't know about a book i didn't know about b book i i i was just basically new to prop trading because i had only two three months of prop trading under my belt with ftmo but then slowly i got to know more about prop trading and the entire scenario b booking demo trading a booking live trading so for me, this was a completely new world, but the idea of having a prop firm and also trading under my own prop firms and all our online trading campus students trading under our own prop firm, the name was the, the name of the prop firm was my campus fund. And we basically then we were approached by a broker and we were approached by a technology provider who basically for everyone who, who don't know who don't know this i want to keep this rather brief so the technology provider of a prop firm is basically creating the entire interface the entire dashboard provides the entire technology for that prop firm and then you have the then you have the the broker and you have basically the liquidity provider so back then i want to transparently tell you we wanted to make business with uh, 8cap as a broker and liquidity provider and PTT, Prop Trade Tech, as a technology provider. And we as online trading campus then wanted to provide a prop firm for, well, not only our students, but for the entire, well, prop firm space. But first of all, first and foremost, we wanted to create an, an environment where our students can trade under our prop firm. But and now the, now the catch comes. We told the broker, the technology provider and liquidity provider, we told them the only scenario that we're going to basically launch a prop firm if we get an A book and B book kind of prop firm, meaning for all the campus students, for all the consistently profitable students, we get an a book prop firm a book scenario and also for me trading under my own prop firm so I, we can all trade real funds and for all the novice traders who basically fail challenge after challenge after challenge challenge we obviously didn't want to provide an a book scenario but for them they would have gotten a b book scenario now we wanted to offer this hybrid model a book and b book and we started that project and basically we started that project it was end of 2022 and the technology provider prop trade tech aid cap as liquidity provider and as broker they basically told us and they promised us yes you guys can have this this hybrid kind of prop firm 
A book for the consistently profitable traders and B book for the novice traders. And this was the only scenario that we said, yes, we are going to launch a prop firm with that kind of hybrid model. This was really important for me. But then, you know, we had all the contract signs. I paid, I don't know, at least $20,000. We paid $20,000 to launch this prop firm. Everything was ready. The website, everything was ready to launch. But then Prop Trade Tech as the technology provider postponed and continuously postponed the launch. And they came up with excuses and after excuses and after excuses. And to cut a long story short, after six months, this was then mid 2023, um, maybe towards quarter three, they said, yeah, now we are ready to launch. We were very excited about that. But then they also said, yeah, we are ready to launch, but only with the B book model. And we were like, that was never part of the contract. We wanted to launch a prop firm that has this hybrid model, A book and B book scenario, this hybrid, hybrid model. And they said, no, sorry, because of, well, so much things happening in the business and the risk management, uh, because of the risk management, we have risk management issues. We cannot do this hybrid model, but we can offer you now only the B book model. And we were really angry and um, we had then discussions forth and back and to cut a very long story short, we then said, we, it's, it's going to be a conflict of interest if we only launch that B-Book model. So we basically stop that project. And let me explain you, and this is basically the teaching point here, why this is, um, why this is a, a conflict of interest. If you offer education like we do at Online Trading Campus and we share our trades, I share all my trades with our campus students and Obviously, most of these trades are successful and our students are making money with the trades, with the trade ideas that we share. So we cannot offer a B book model because with that B book model, these students would trade a demo. And then obviously, if they make money, who is going to pay them? Well, we have to pay them from the challenge fees, right? That's how a B book model works. Challenge fees. The people who buy the challenges, these are this is the profits and the people who make money. This is your loss as a prop firm. So you need more cha challenge sales than people who make profit. Only then a prop firm can be a B book prop firm can be profitable. Again, more challenge fees. You as a prop firm, you have to collect more challenge fees and then you can only make money if you collect more challenge fees and less people make money and <laughs> with our students obviously and with the trades that we share people make a lot of money so that b book prop firm is not sustainable and it's a conflict of interest because if you run and now listen carefully ladies and gentlemen if you run a b book model you want traders to fail right that's the only that's the only way how you can be sustainable if you have more traders to fail than win so the conflict on the conflict of interest arises because we as online trading campus, I want my students to succeed. I want all my students to su succeed. That's why I share only the best possible trades with them. But with that B-Book model, all of a sudden I don't want them to succeed because every single penny that they make in the market, all the thousands of dollars that they make in the market will come from my own pocket because I run that B-Book model. And that's why initially I always said I want to do that hybrid model. That's the only scenario. If I, if I ever launch a prop firm, I launch a, a hybrid model where I can A book the consistently profitable trader and B book the losing trader right but something like this doesn't really exist yet and not with a consistent risk management model and that's the, the whole story we were very, really close to launch this we were really close to launch this uh, prop firm i was really actually happy i was teasing it already 
on my social media. I was super proud about that. But then when the technology provider prop trade tech, basically I, I felt scammed because they promised us until they until the day of the launch, until the week of the launch, that we're gonna launch this hybrid model. And then all of a sudden they said, because of risk management issues, we cannot be launch this uh, this hybrid model. We can only launch a B-Book model and this B-Book model for us is a conflict of interest. It's not sustainable. I don't want my own traders to fail. I want them to succeed. I want them to make money. And with that B-Book model, I don't want them to make money. So take this as a lesson, ladies and gentlemen. As an educator like me, you cannot offer a B book prop firm because it's a conflict of interest and whenever and now listen carefully again whenever an educator is offering a b book prop firm think about it like this person is an educator sharing their trade ideas with you you are supposedly succeeding with his their trade ideas with the strategy and now you're trading with with their B-Book uh, prop firm. Now, how does this even work? How does this even work? It's impossible. So that's basically my story, my prop firm story and why I might never, my, why I might never launch a prop firm. I might launch a prop firm, but then only as a hybrid model in the future.